Hi Capricorn, welcome to your uh, past life reading for couples. Now, this is the uh, life after the retrograde specials. Let's take a look if you've already learned your lessons from the past. What are the things that you still have to uh, see? And uh, why do you feel like there are some things in your life that, you, that just keeps on going over and over again? Or you can't find the right one. Who is your soulmate or are your soulmate? And are you with your twin flame? Who's your karmic soulmate? What are the things that you still have to learn? Well, you have to learn how to forgive. Okay, leaving our tra- Ooh, spouse. You've always wanted to have a ranch or like a, you know, a, like a farm, but you're not really used to this kind of life. You only want to own one. And most of you, you have the capability of having that. Alright, let's take a look. Well, one thing is that you have to learn how to forgive, of course. Someone have actually left you. Um, which is, this is the one that you were married to. Let's take a look. Okay, now, you know, in your uh, past life, um, you were first born in the, uh, during the biblical times, and you are, you are one of the uh, oldest civilizations, okay, and I'm picking up that you have lived around, not actually Egypt, but this is more like the around the, uh, Hmm. Around the Middle Eastern continent. Hmm. I'm picking up one of them is uh, either Palestine or a Jerusalem. But anyway, uh, you have run away from someone that you have been married to. It's more of a fixed marriage, okay? And you're so against this. You don't feel like you belong to that person or you belong to that... Um, you know, to that uh, person who uh, who was matched to you, and you believe in your own rights, you believe in your own freedom, and you can't be with someone that you feel like, you know, uh, that you don't even know, and then yet you're you're going to be consummating your marriage or your relationship or something like that, and this person is even older than you. You were a writer, or you love, um, like writing your thoughts, expressing your thoughts in the form of writing. That even though you've only run away with a very few pennies or gold or nuggets in in your pocket, you have tried to start in a very you know in a very small way or in a scratch, and yet uh, I feel like you were caught, you know, and not really stealing, but you were um, you know. You were framed by someone who is uh, who who is the one who actually stole, okay? And they put the bread inside your bag, and then that person saw the uh, the bread in your bag, and then they thought that you're the one who who is the thief. So you were only like uh, you've only been jailed for like a day or two and something like that, and you just decided to uh, continue your journey, okay? And uh, right before that. Sorry, right after that, you've already had some issues trusting other people. Now the peop now the person or the man that you used to be married to, he tried searching for you and he tried uh, sending out other people to search for you, okay? Because your family wants you to have a better life or to have a, a life that you don't really have to work as a slave. Instead, you are the one who will be owning up a slave. But then this is not really what you really want. You want to work your way up, you want to prove yourself, and you know that you have a lot of talents here. You have something, a lot in you that you can prove. That you can work your way up even though you don't have to you know even though it's just a small thing or even though you're going to be starting from scratch and uh, 
you can rebuild yourself using your own talent and skills not to marry other person or not to marry someone else who's already well off okay you're very you have some high pride and principles and it seems like uh, during the time that you were traveling this person who put you into trouble has been following you okay you were guided and you used to be one of the angels but you were sent out here in on earth for a reason and because that you have also defied you know those um, higher guardians about what you really believe about humans or humanity and that love can still save the world but unfortunately there are a lot more things that you still have to know about humans and um it has been like uh centuries already and you, you can't still earn your your wings back okay and that is the reason why that you keep on having a lot of challenges when it comes to your love life and you're also born as a you know like um what do you call this as a um, uh light workers okay that you have to um it's like you have to experience first the things that you're supposed to be teaching other people or other humans right before you can say that okay this is how life is this is how life then like right before you can have a lecture about life you have to experience it first beforehand now you have lived in three actually four okay uh the cards have already shown that you've lived in asia one of the um, advanced civilizations which is in Atlantis and one who is in the uh, Greek Roman or around Europe okay and then one well, is a uh, Middle Eastern now you you're a well-traveled person okay and the person who's been following you which is the one who actually put you into peril and uh, the reason why you get stuck in, in the reason why you were in prison because uh, someone just said that you were a thief has been following you and um, it seems like they've been watching your moves and then you know that someone has been following you and then you were smart enough to catch this person and there and confront them what do they really want from you and then from then on that this person knows how uh, clever you are um they volunteer to be your slave or your assistant okay now well you when you traveled around asia or when you have lived in asia you were not really a preacher but you're mostly a teacher of religion and faith and you were uh, you know spreading some words about uh, yeah yeah religion and faith as well and you're a well-traveled person but even though you've lived in a very humble kind of living okay and uh, when you lived in Atlantis, you have promised somebody, okay, uh, like a promise of knowledge or like a promise of um, learning or teaching. But then something always comes in the way that people always, you know, blocks your way. Even though that there are a lot of obstacles, hardships, you're going through a lot of difficult times. Sometimes you don't know if you're going to be eating the next day. You always, you know find some help or there are some helpful people that's been that's being sent your way or a protection okay because you used to be one of the guardians um, um, in heavens and uh, you're only here on earth for a mission and I feel like in your last lifetime you were also a mother of two but then a well, mother of three actually and then you're a very well up person okay and you also have the gift of healing um you know a lot of lectures about religion and faith well you've always had some issues with your father you're very close to your father and uh, you love being more out there you love your freedom you you hate being restrained from your you know from your own rights and you hate it when someone dictates you what to do and what you shouldn't do you're a very forgiving person and understanding but once someone really pisses you off and it crosses the line then that's going to be it you're going to be cutting them off and you'll be keeping your walls up and you'll be wearing up your shields against your body okay 
Now, you need to forgive this other person who's, that you've been with, you know, that you've been like a pair to um for you to have a good life that you just need to understand that your parents just mean well it's not that they are suppressing you or it's not that they have sold you out to someone who is so uh, wealthy you know for you to have a stable life and for uh, for this person to strengthen your your family bonds and ties and your you know your status in the society but uh you are very stubborn you're born as a leader but then you you have a very strong mind strong heart that some other people before couldn't really understand what is it that you're trying to fight for like what are your principles you know, or what are you trying to stand for and during the time that you were in asia you were a lecturer or you were a missionary or you were educating people about god or about uh, you know spirituality and faith as well that even though you've been having a lot of hard times or you born you were born in a very difficult uh, family you have worked your way up okay and you've also helped out a lot of people and then when you were in atlantis or one of the atlantean you have promised somebody a promise of um knowledge or skills and that you'll be teaching them what it, whatever it is that you you know that you know you have the gift of um not really the gift that you have that wide knowledge when it comes to technology computers elect um electricals uh, technicals or something like that um, you know it is related to electricity or uh, computers okay uh, during at that time and you're only working with crystals and uh, other stuff and it's not just that because you are you're a multi-talented person so a lot of your students or a lot of people around you wants to learn from you now you were a magnet for jealousy because when even in your first life when you marry this other person your sister is the one who actually likes this person okay your sister is the one who wants to be married to this person but they feel like you you're better or you're supposed to just en end up with this uh, with this man instead and so it broke off your um, you know your relationship with your sister and then during the time that when you were in Asia okay um, well I don't see much politics but it seems like someone has been trying to create some rumors that you are a corrupt person but you have kept your faith okay to yourself and you know that you're being protected and that uh, you know that uh, you are all you will always be protected by your guides or by your you know by other angels who's been like uh, looking for looking after you now in this lifetime i feel like the one that is really meant for you is the one who will always be following you this person will be coming you know especially if you're married right now to someone who is younger than you or if you're in love with someone who's younger than you this person seems like they they're um like a troublemaker or they're they always put themselves into trouble and then you always have to save them or you are the one who always pay for their own uh, you know demise or for their own um, problems that they create or you always have to play hero you know every time that they uh, um, get stuck into a problem but this is really the right one for you and I feel like this is also not to be your guide but to keep on pushing you to reach your potential and for you to spread your wings because you've been so confined and you've been so too you know it's like you've been too comfortable with your own life that um, you know be on your own that's why you hated it when someone dictates you how to live your life what to do you know um, who to give and stuff like that you hated it being like a robot or acting like a robot and sometimes even if you don't want to life will be giving you um, you know like a baggage to carry it's not like a burden because this person you know the younger person can also be your companion or your uh, you know your partner in crime but the partner is the one who keeps on committing crimes and you're the one who keeps on you know um bailing out for them so if you are with a younger one and if you are 
if you keep on saving up this person from the problems that they create for themselves this is the right person for you okay especially if they're uh, a mixture of uh, water air and fire okay earth will always be your karmic uh, soulmate and your twin flame will be a fire okay a mixture of fire and water or a water and fire yeah something like that and don't walk away or don't give up from this person because even though they are a troublemaker they're also lost and they will find their way through you they will see the light from you and they they will see you as like a you know a person or like um yeah like a person who is riding a chariot right you know with your knight sorry with your um uh with your horses carrying the torch because they're actually uh, stuck in their own darkness and they don't know if who they will follow without anybody who will be leading them they're going to be lost and so don't give up on the person who is younger than you right now. Or if you feel like your spouse has been like much of a burden and they always incur trouble and they always blame it on you. And um, you should be, you know, you should actually feel thankful, you know, at the same time. Because you will always be blessed and gifted with so much um, potentials and power and knowledge that even though just from a scratch okay that's why you're too headstrong that's why you're too independent and that's why you feel like you can always conquer anything in life because you are you know you're born as a warrior and you're born as a very independent leader okay now your partner right now which is younger than you will always be the cause of your success and at the same time of your downfall if you are the one who's not going to be in control of your relationship then this person will be dragging you down but if you are the one who will be in control of your relationship then this person will be your uh, continuous um, stepping stone okay because you will keep on proving them wrong you will keep on being a good example for them to lead on or for them to look up at you or for them to guide their way that this is how you do it and you will keep on dealing with stubborn people okay people who will be or younger people or partners who's not going to be owning up to their own mistakes and they will keep on blaming other people for their own mistakes in life you know and that they will expect that you will always be there for them which is it's a little bit tiring of course but then we all have our own you know things to pay from our past lives and for our karma and uh, karmic debts to you know to settle and i feel like with this person you know um if you will get estranged you will somehow feel like why is it that you, you can't separate from each other you can't let go of each other and you just couldn't really you know uh be away from one another you will keep on reconciling even though you'll tr you will keep on uh, trying to free yourselves up from each other because the two of you are really meant to be okay you just need to let go of control issues and there are times that you just wanted to let go of you know some things in life and you just need you want to let go of this burden or you know sometimes you see them as your obstacle that you that you need to let go of now you actually have a very colorful journey okay because um in each and every place or in each and every life stage that you're in you always teach people the things that they needed to know and you don't really you know you're humble enough not to always um introduce yourself that oh i'm from this so-and-so family I'm married to this i'm you know I, I have this i have that people you want people to know who you really are and not for what you have and that is also the reason why there are a lot of people who's always envious of you, you know, who's always so bitter of what you know. People find you very intimidating, enthralling, you know, and um, it's like uh, very mysterious as well, okay? And um, even if people try to block you or even if people try to stop you from whatever it is that you're doing, you, you always have that strong faith that you know that the universe or god won't give you something that you cannot surpass 
because you were gifted you were gifted and you were given a wisdom okay to think of a solution and all you ever ask from them is the protection and to give you some light or some or some strength whenever you feel so down and weary so this person that you're in will come from another place or will come from another area or they're a little bit different from you but you know the mo it's like when you first got married or when you first got when you first got together you don't really like to be with this person it's like there's a part of you who feels like no i don't want to be with this person this is not really the right one for me and, and then later on you will just keep you know you will just love them and you will just learn how to take how to value them because of uh because of how they stay and because of um you know how they swallow their pride every time that you push them away and you always have some problems with the relationships because you want to protect yourself from being attacked invaded or from being vulnerable in your second lifetime you were actually cheated by somebody you know and in one of your lifetimes you were you work as a doctor or you work as a healer and while you're traveling and healing other people you came home one time and you found your you know you found your um your wife in bed with uh, someone that you know which is actually your best friend or or like a brother okay and this is the reason why that you keep on having a lot of failures in your relationship whether it's the old one or just around your age and whenever it is the uh, the younger one you sometimes feel like you're a nanny or you have to babysit them or they're very immature but they're the one who actually stays okay so your main lesson here is don't push people away because of your own trust issues and no man is an island sometimes you also need to learn how to ask for help whenever you need them <clears throat> and yes you are a very strong and uh, independent and very knowledgeable person but sometimes you also have to show your weakness in order for you to know who are the real people around you okay you can't just keep on holding your umbrella so that other people who also need some shed will always just go under your umbrella sometimes you just need to let other people hold it for you okay because you're not made of steel you're still human after all and you you also get tired you also get drained and you also get too consumed okay sometimes you just need to let other people get near you get close to you and lower down your walls okay anyway that's it for you for this retrograde capricorn if you want to talk to me live in the phone and live in the calls or if you want to have this kind of reading just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you